Today we'll be covering part one on the Cash Tactics Pay Per Click case study. My name is Andrew and I'll be your host. Our main goal with this series is to take new affiliates or maybe struggling affiliates and show them each step of the process in developing a campaign, launching it, and optimizing it to make it profitable. There are a lot of different steps and if you think pay per click marketing is simple, this is definitely not true. It's a very challenging industry but once you learn it, it can be very lucrative for you. Some of the things that we'll be covering today, I'll be talking just a little bit about some affiliate networks. Um, I'll also be talking about how to select your offer and competition research. That way you know how, if people are promoting that particular offer, where they're promoting it, uh, and some other aspects of things like that. So let's go ahead and begin with the affiliate networks. One of the first ones I want to talk about is Convert to Media. Very good network. Um, some of the things as a new affiliate that I would recommend you looking for in a, in a network is a couple things. One, you want net 15 pay terms, which means you get paid every two weeks. That way, whatever revenue you generate, you're getting it back pretty quickly. So if you're using credit cards to fund your pay-per-click marketing adventures, um, then you're able to pay off that credit card before you get any interest charges. So it's going to make a big benefit uh, in, in that aspect especially. Another thing is they have a huge offer selection. I mean, just tons of different things to choose from, um, which is pretty much these two key things I just mentioned, the payout terms and the offer selection, uh, are the main two things on each of the networks I'm about to talk about that I really do like. Uh, and being a new affiliate, I do not recommend you going and signing up with a, a bunch of different networks. You'll just be overwhelmed because each one will provide you with an affiliate manager. Uh, and it can be kind of overwhelming at first. Start with a couple and work your way from there. Market Leverage and Hydra are the next two I will show you just one moment. But each one of those are, they have tons of different offers and quick payout terms, so get you going pretty quickly. Market Leverage here, nice pretty blue. Another thing I like about Market Leverage, uh, and, most, and a lot of networks now even have it, but uh, they have a rewards program. And Market Leverage is pretty good. If you look down here, if you generate a thousand dollars in commission in a month, you'll get a ten dollar MX cash card. So um, it may not seem like a whole lot, but that's one percent. That means you're improving your profit margin by one percent. So that's really really good. Uh, if, you know, you may not think so, but it is very beneficial to you. Uh, Hydra, really good network. They've been around for a while. Again, tons of offers, great affiliate managers, um, more than happy to work with you. And if, they, if you show some dedication and motivation, each network will, will bend over backwards to support you. Uh, just a little suggestion when you're applying for any networks, you know, if you, when you talk to them, because they have to do a phone verification, you know, make sure you sound confident and sound serious. Don't, don't just be some kid goofing off, because if they take you as a serious business partner, then they'll really do a lot for you and it will really help your business relationship and your business over the future. Uh, so just keep that in mind. The next thing I want to talk about is competition research and offer selection. They basically go hand in hand and here's why. Because you have to know what offer you're looking to do research on before you can find out what competitors you have in that market and how they're promoting it. Now some of the ways to identify a good market to target. Let's go through that. When you sign up for affiliate networks, you'll have an affiliate manager at each one and they'll be able to, to talk to you and help you out with any questions you have. So what I recommend you doing, and something that Chris and I both did for this specific case study, I talked to a couple of my affiliate managers and he talked to a couple of his. And we got some feedback back on, on some good offers that are currently being ran. And they are also able to provide you with st statistics such as conversion rate and EPCs. That way you know kind of what the overall performance is on that particular uh, offer. Now, something you want to make sure you ask uh, your affiliate manager when you do ask for statistics like that is make sure that you're focusing on paid search statistics. Some networks, uh, such as Azugle, uh, they're only able to provide network-wide statistics. So the numbers they give you are not completely accurate for pay-per-click marketers. Um, so just make sure you ask for something like that. That way you're pretty sure. So with the results they provide you, you'll be able to maybe pick out a couple different offers that look interesting. Um, one of my managers, or actually a couple of them, they send out regular reports 
straight to my email on a bi-weekly basis that gives me a listing of all the stats for all the top 20 or 30 PPC campaign offers that are being ran through the PPC side of things. So that's really beneficial and um, not every network is able to do that, but talk to your manager and they should be able to help you out pretty well in just about any offer you're interested in or even make suggestions for you. So once you've narrowed down to a couple different offers um, and you've, you've had a few you know ideas that you might want to approach something, well this is what I usually do. This is the next step that I take. You go to Google, you can type in something like you know, you can type in if you want to Xbox, Xbox Repair. I know that's a product on ClickBank, which used to be promoted a long time ago pretty well. Uh, there's Xbox Repair Guide. You type that in, you can see there's some affiliates here. That's obviously an affiliate um, right here. This one guy right here. Uh, over to the right hand side, these guys with the dashes, most of the time they're affiliates. Uh, this is probably an actual company down here at the bottom. So you see it's being ran on the search network, which is very good. Um, that means there's potential to make a profit there with any offer uh, on the search network if you see affiliates actively there. Uh, another thing you want to do is you can go to like article sites uh, like associated content and there's also another tip I'll give you about associated content a little bit later. Um, you can go here and you can type in Xbox Repair and see if there's any articles related to Xbox and Xbox Repair uh, and as you'll notice down here there seems to be a couple of them uh, but if you look right here 24 hour repair that's not really a an ebook off that's actual company um, but let's go ahead and do that search again see if we can oh, actually here's some ads on the right hand side down here at the bottom um, let's see right here is an affiliate running probably that Clickbank offer um, let's see right here this is the actual company that's promoting the book directly uh, so there are a few affiliates and there are some other uh, companies promoting the ebook products down here. Now, if you're just starting out, I don't necessarily recommend ClickBank. Um, it's a good one. You can make a profit with it, but in my personal opinion, ebooks are not always the easiest thing to sell. Um, and leads like from Market Leverage, um, Convert to Media, Hydra, they have lead offers, so they're the conversion rates are usually a little bit higher, so you see results quicker. That way, you're able to, you know, catch up to speed on your knowledge because it takes some experience and knowledge to really understand how things work. But once you've got that, you're good to go. Um, conversion rates on ClickBank products range anywhere from one to four percent. Sometimes can be a little bit higher, but usually it's one to four percent. Uh, whereas lead offers, CPA type offers, it's, it can be anywhere from two to fifteen percent sometimes higher if you get into like the email and zip submits so you're able to really get some data quicker and get more familiar with affiliate marketing and internet marketing <clears throat> so we do see basically so far that on the content network there are affiliates promoting this product and on the google search network there are affiliates promoting this particular product so then what we can take into account is you can go here to trends type in trends so you can type in xbox repair xbox uh, not so much xbox that's not targeted enough xbox 360 repair and now here we'll take a look at this so we're kinda analyzing this market so if you notice here that for the key phrase xbox repair which is in blue and starting about mid 2006 is where it had the increase in searches all the way up to it looks like it peaked at the beginning of 2008 end of 2007 and this kind of went tapered straight down to the middle uh, now it's a slight rise again now the the big heat for this particular market doing some other research on articles during that time you can find that there was a big problem with the Xbox that they had then so the demand for that market's not there so this particular market I would not recommend getting into very low volume if anything and it'd be a waste of your time now here's another offer this is the actual offer that we're going to be promoting and I'll, I, I'll show you here so two things that we considered we considered getting into grants and considered getting into IKEA Berry products now you're like wow Grants have been around for a while. What's special about that? Well, maybe not nothing. But then there's also some really solid statistics provided by uh, some affiliate manager of ours that really make it a beneficial niche to target. We just got to find a good approach. Uh, and a 